the lions would have removed the, the, the bottom part and the hyenas would have come and crunched the next part. But there's one place that they can't get to. And that's the brain casing. And I'm going to try to see if I can... F there we go. So if we see where that spinal cord is attached. So once this has been opened up and whatnot, there's a particular species of... I'm going to try to light for you. There we go. How's that, Chandra? A bit better. Um, there's a particular species of scarab beetle that eats the brains of buffalo and other large things like elephant that uh, the scavengers and, and predators can't get to. So you've always got to be careful. So, for example, if we had to go pick up one of those uh, buffalo kills that Nkuma have made in the part last two weeks, and I've seen people do it, they're like, ooh, buffalo skull, pick it up, and then just gooey brain juice from the scarabs <laughs> falls all over them, and that smells for days. Uh, you might as well just throw away your clothes if you get brain juice on them. Uh, and obviously it's, it's, it's liquefied and, and rotted inside, inside that, the skull casing. And uh, those carrion beetles, are sp very specific, have gone to feed there. Now let's put this back on James's shelf. I think that's hilarious. Yes, so whilst, it's quite funny. Um, Brent attempted